it's live. It's Can you see live. it? It's oh my live. god, it says live. Yeah. Now, it's on. Welcome to Secular Soup. Stay tuned for real talk about atheism, feminism, politics, parenting, and whatever the fuck else Amy and Amy want to talk about, because this is their show. And get ready for a whole lot of motherfucking profanity. You want to hear a secret? Uh, I couldn't. I won't tell I anybody. Go ahead. If I sit next to you, I'm going to get gonorrhea. It's going to jump <laughs> into me. Just two ladies hanging out. Is it okay for me to make fun of his neck waddle if I make fun of my own neck waddle? I'm not sure. That's a real ethical conundrum. Would you know if you were born a lizard person or can you be like adopted into- th I think you know. We're such professionals. We really are. Buckle up, bitches. It's time to have some soup. Uh, so I don't know how to make this intro go down at all, do you? Okay, <laughs> so as you, so uh, this is Amy. I'm Amy with a Y. And I'm Amy with an I. And we're just two blueberries floating in a bowl of tomato soup. And I don't remember how to podcast anymore. So if you're listening, <laughs> you might realize that. Um, we're trying something new. We are streaming live on StreamYard. And our plan is to kind of do that for the patrons every week and then release the feed to the normies. Um <laughs> On, like, I guess, like Wednesday, like Wednesday, two days later. Thursday so we're going to try to stick to like yeah. a Monday night thing. We'll see how this goes. We've yeah. just figured out that neither one of us has the t Editing any time at all. or time. And or... it's just too hard to get everything done <laughs> on a regular basis. So to kind of cut out editing altogether, um, we're just going to do this and see how it goes. It yeah. could be fun. Who knows? It's, it's, I feel like we're kind of guerrilla podcasting right now. That's um, kind of fun. Maybe excited. it'll turn out cool like Utah Outcasts, and who knows. So if you're watching Good. a video of this right now, which I don't know if anybody will, if we'll put it on YouTube, I don't fucking know. Oh. Um, I'm not wearing any makeup. This is me au naturel, except for my sequin beret, because my hair looks like shit, because <laughs> Mondays are for cleaning the house. So yeah. yeah. Because I work on Saturdays. That's what I do on Monday. So here I am. Um, so we wanted to talk this week about COVID. I don't know. Is that know. still around? Have you heard of that? Um, I did. I thought that was cured. Like, I live in Texas. It's like over. Like, they it, don't believe in it anymore. I heard it's just like the flu. It's um, basically the flu. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that... These Democratic governors and Joe fucking agenda. Biden. I think it's the gay uh, agenda. Do you think the gay agenda? Do you think the I COVID think makes they you? Created I think the COVID. vaccine makes you gay. Probably. Oh God! See that you makes got both shots. Sense. You got three shots. You're like three. three times gay. I got the third one before they said that it probably doesn't matter if you get a booster or not. Yeah, Pfizer. They're like, meh. So I snuck in right away. I got Moderna. So. Oh well, that one's actually showing to prove better at this point mm -hmm. I I, pfizer was ahead yeah. that's the one i got i was like yeah pfizer and now it's nope. mm, it's all about moderna except my kid got pfizer but just today they announced that pfizer is safe I four five to eleven i have an 11 year old i am so, so excited do I. i'm just oh my god everyone i know with an 11 year old is like yes i saw that i was like yes i'm so excited but we still can't do it we still have to get the emergency authorization from the FDA to be able to do it, but at least this announcement it's pretty huge. Is getting closer. They're so. trying to they're trying to put the microchips in children so mm -hmm. they can be I don't understand how the the um, book of revelations works. Well, I mean it, it's I feel the, like... the microchipping for the mm -hmm. three headed angels with if the, the swords, microchipping makes my kids less mouthy i feel like it will have been worth it yeah right knocks them I down mean, a couple pegs good mm -hmm. who could i mean this this generation is going i mean to if they're dealing the with basket. being three times gay also like it's a lot going on it sounds like it'd be really fun though three times gay it's a good band name three times gay. <laughs> um so we here i know in texas it's just the wild west and nobody gives a shit and there's no mandates and nobody's um, doing anything unless you have a um, uterus and then there's all kinds of mandates well, on that yeah unless you want to crawl into somebody's uterus and set yeah. up shop there but as far as covid goes uh our governor 
has kind of left it up to the individual school districts to decide nice. what they want to do for masking. My my governor removed Which, all of the funding for virtual yeah. school. Yeah, we so don't, we have don't even have that option. anymore either. They got rid of virtual schooling. Yeah. Um, so my kids are in person. Mm -hmm. uh, the one that graduated, though, he's just kind of... You remember those months after you Showing. graduate from high school and you're mm -hmm. like... Whatever. Eh. You're just figuring shit out. It's fine. But his... Yeah. he's. I'm like, so have you gotten a job yet? And he was like, I'm still working on it. I'm like, what is there to work on? Like... You either yeah. have one or you don't. Well, mine, my 17-year-old decided that he wants a job. And we've yeah. discussed several different types of jobs that he would enjoy doing. But he refuses to get one until he gets his driver's license. Say, same. But he hasn't because, gotten, yeah. he's still in driver's training. So mm -hmm. it doesn't actually work. Like, that's yeah. not how it works. Well, he finished the training. But now it's a matter of getting the test set up. And we just found out that they're not going to be doing the testing here for, like, another two years which means we have to go to a different town to take the test, which means a whole well, layer of anxiety. My son's 18. And, uh, he doesn't even need to take the driver's training then anymore. Then he should get he just, his ass in there. Yeah. That's what we're, that's what we're saying. We're like, hey, mm -hmm. do it. And he was like, well, dad said, it's like, okay, first of all, don't listen to your dad. Mm -hmm. Just do what we're just telling you to do. It. And just, yeah. Just get it. I can yeah. remember being 16. I was just, so excited. I was, I was like so chomping at the excited. bit. I got it immediately on my Me birthday too. because like, Me too. like I couldn't read them. That was independent. I'm trying to figure out my shirt situation here. Yeah. These kids now, they just don't. For the, if we don't release the audio or the yeah. visual, people are going to be like, what is she talking about? We look know. great. Yeah. I have my Monday jumpsuit on, which is a full body that is a jumpsuit <laughs> that's just like really really soft it's basically pajamas with pockets um, i love it and well, I i'm wearing day, i'm wearing so. super so my i'm wearing these leggings that i got uh for a three pack for like five dollars on amazon Ooh. and they are the softest things in the world they're super oh see-through so yeah. i wear them with shirts that cover my booty i just mm -hmm. wear them around the house though so i don't yeah. care but they are so soft and oh, they nice. probably look like garbage on me because they're skin mm -hmm. tight. And mm -hmm. and then I'm just wearing this shirt that's just, yeah. it's supposed to be a pajama shirt, but wait, there. Pajamas are regular wear now. Yeah. That's... COVID changed everything, so. So when I had to go back into the office for two or three weeks or something until people caught COVID and then they sent us home again, mm -hmm. um, I had to go back in the office and I was like wearing real clothes and I was super mad. Like I kept getting yeah. angry at wearing like like jackets and stuff. I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> See, I've been liking now that I'm working out in the world again, yeah. but I only work like Wednesday through Saturday. So it's not all week, but I've been enjoying like wearing clothes that make me feel good and putting on makeup. Yeah, I understand that. I haven't done that in like two years. Well, I still go now. out. I go out all the time. Um, yeah. now, well, I go out I, more. But... I go out all the time. I don't go out all the time. I go to like patios and yeah. have like a drink on a patio with some friends but i have to wear clothes for that but i don't have to wear work clothes for that right yeah so. i've been i've been kind of oscillating between really fancy work clothes with lots of accessories yeah. and then just like a really funny t-shirt and a pair of jeans depends on how i feel that day but my new jeans? uniform you still wear is, jeans i still wear jeans yeah wow i do not but wear jeans. i've gone up like four sizes in the past year so COVID. Yeah, COVID yeah, will do that. I've been buying all these I don't new know because all of my pants are stretchy pants that mm -hmm. I got in a three pack from Amazon, essentially. Yeah. So I don't know what size I actually wear. I don't like <laughs> jeans, but they're functional. You know, they I have a pocket that. in them and I can carry my phone around with me. That's I just put everything in my bra. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, I should start doing that. Anyway, everything, so... everything goes in my bra. When I, I'm driving yeah. out somewhere by myself, my keys are in there. My phone is in there, like my car credit card, like everything is just in. Well, now that I gained all this weight, various I can locations. finally kind of do that. I just couldn't do it yeah. before, but you know. And you know your keys are still in there when they're still poking you. So you're like, I still have my car keys. I'm cool. That's a good idea. So oh, yeah. our school district uh, decided to, with much screaming from the community, go with a mask mandate for kids. All the kids, K through 12, have to have masks. It, there have been some batshit crazy school board meetings in the last couple of weeks. Yeah. One of them, I'm sure you might have seen a picture I posted, but um, a notorious Trumper fucking idiot who lives in town showed up at the meeting with a paper bag over his head with two holes cut for eyes. 
Oh yeah, I saw that. That was hilarious. Because he <laughs> See, it's fun. There's all these local Facebook groups, and but the thing is, is it's doing the same thing. Thank you, sir. Like he and he had a mask <laughs> under it. Like so, he even showed the board. He had a mask, and he, this dumb motherfucker. So yeah, we have all these local Facebook groups, and I have friends. We have like a liberal mole in probably every group there is. Just so we can oh yeah, we do, shots, we, do we do too. We do too. We because we have the yeah. the liberal moms group mm -hmm. and all the liberal women group and yeah. then the local Democrats and then yep. there's all those local community groups and we're all in all of those. That's where all the crazy shit happens. Because the thing is, is they think that none of us live here, mm -hmm. but we do. Yeah. And they well, keep talking about the people from California coming to Texas and making <clears> it liberal. It's like no, we're from here. You're already here. Yeah. We're already here. Mm -hmm. So, this, you're welcome. <laughs> this guy had posted something in one of their, because now there's two or three offshoot parent save our country groups where it's like, we can't have them masking our children. So he posted something about, you know, okay, go come to the school board meeting tonight. Be really creative with your mask. Remember, we, we're going to have to wear the masks. They're requiring it to get in the room. <laughs> But do something, you know, really creative with it or Absurd. have a sign or put something on it, you know. Yeah. And he's like, and remember, you can still get COVID even with a mask. And it was like, so. Okay. It's so you're never so about close. protecting you're so yourself. Close. But like he That's admitted never that. never what it was. That he admitted. And the way he worded it, though, showed that he understood. He said, like, even though it's a smaller chance, you can still get COVID with I'm like, you're so close, dude. Yeah, you're there so was, close. I was in a mom's group yesterday, and it's in, like, these little rural, like, suburbia neighborhoods or mm -hmm. communities. And kind of how were I talking picture about... all of Texas to be. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> well, this place literally does have horses walking down the street, like, going oh. to Sonic and stuff. Cool. So it's as you picture Texas. Like, okay. giant houses, horses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is the community just north of me, and they were having the school board fight, or not the school board fight. She was asking for COVID stories where people used alternative treatments and got better. For fuck's sake. And she wanted to know your vaccination status. And so everybody was sharing their miraculous recoveries, but then they couldn't find the right doctor that would give them the, the real treatment. Mm -hmm. and, this, and my son got shamed because he's not vaccinated. He got thrown out of the ER. And, you know, all these terrible stories. And so I get in there and I'm like, hey, a friend I grew up with who's, you know, two years younger than me died last week. Mm -hmm. He had COVID in May. He wasn't vaccinated. He recovered slightly, got intubated because he just crashed. And then he was like mm -hmm. finally standing up, recovering. And then he just got worse and died. Oh. He has four young children. You know, Awful. he wouldn't it wouldn't have happened if he had been vaccinated. Probably to the same extent. Yeah. And they were like, no, when people go to the hospital, they seem to get worse. I'm like, no, when people aren't vaccinated, they go to the hospital. Oh like that's the cause and effect. Not that he went oh. to the hospital and got sick. He, he went to the hospital have... because he was sick because already. Because he was already there. Oh my God. I can't. But I just, yeah, I get in so many fights in that group. And I've been trying like hell to stay off. I, the I local try. newspaper page. And I then I try so to not pick a fight mad. with Greg Abbott on his page, but I can't help myself. Well, we have so. uh, our local state representative, Paul Gazelka, is running for governor this next cycle. So he stepped down nice. from his speaker of the or Senate leader. I guess he's in the Senate. Senate leadership position to run for governor, which. Yikes. When is your governorship oh, up or whatever? I think next year. I think it's, yeah, I think it's in 2022 is when we vote. So he's he's a real piece of shit. Um, he belongs in Texas, frankly. He seems like he's from Texas. He we should send it. We boxes. won't even notice. We literally wouldn't we notice. We probably wouldn't. Um, We'd be like, yeah, just join Ted Cruz up there. It's fine. Yeah, just in that I'm sure it's, like, hall of shits. I've been just so disappointed in how many, like, in these parents groups, there's one that's like, parents unite, and it's all anti-masking shit. But I, I'll see people I know like those posts. And people Me that I thought were decent, smart people. Me too. I've had to unfriend and, people because yeah. I see them commenting on stuff. And I'm like, oh. I just look at it and I think, one of them's a neighbor of mine who's a nurse. She's a fucking nurse. Like, how how do you get into healthcare and not understand basic, like, how germs spread and what a virus is? How How... 
Does I that happen? No idea. I don't. I know way too many local nurses who don't who won't get vaccinated. Um, there was a big rally at the water tower a couple no, weeks I've ago seen, for I've medical seen people freedom. In scrubs. Yep, medical it, yeah. freedom. So there's a, a giant healthcare system out here that mm -hmm. said they are going to require everyone to get a vaccination. As they should. As they should. And then people mm -hmm. threw massive fits. And so they were like, oh, we're going to allow, we'll allow people to have their, you know, personal freedom, or not personal freedom, but they'll have the religious exemption or whatever. It's like, just, you're literally, the people that are going to use that are the ones that aren't already Find a it. different fucking career, but go on. Yeah. I... If you don't believe in vaccinations, why are you in the healthcare field? I can't understand it. It's so frustrating. We There were two school districts near ours and their enrollment went up because they don't have mask mandates. Guess what they're doing now? They're all fucking Maybe. wearing masks because the first week of school, they had a ton we of students We had this one district positive. that had like, like half the district tested positive or something. It was like insane mm -hmm. numbers the first week. Yeah. And they started before everybody else. And we were all just like, great, we're screwed. Like, and we're those screwed. are, think about this. Those are just the kids whose parents actually got them a test. Yeah. I mean. I was going to send you something. So, oh, well, I wasn't going to so send it to you. I was just going to read it to you. Okay. There's this Mormon chick that I'm Facebook friends with. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I'm multitasking, ordering a new mic while you do this. So this is how we podcast. That's um, fine. So yeah, I was, I was in this Facebook group. Oh yeah, so this is one from the mom's group the other day. When you're driving through your hometown and seeing an old friend from high school and she's like, uh, making a face and there's this crazy guy who's naked on a bike and he was like, I ain't taking that shot. It, ain't, it didn't work and I got a tracking chip in it too. She posted it in that mom's group. <laughs> And the comments were just, and I was like, and then they'll oh swing by and tell God. you about their MLM. Oh, yeah. Swing yeah. right in. There's a, there's a new Christian Academy that just opened like two weeks ago for the nice. parents who don't want to have to have their kids wear masks. They're like, they actually found this like chain store of Christian Academies online where you could buy a franchise basically and start your own. Cool. So they got space in this huge industrial building that's been, it used to be a paper mill. But it's mm -hmm. been empty since, you know, the 90s, because that's what happened to America. So they showed a picture in one of the groups of these four moms, and they were like, Friday fun day, first day of school. And so I put it in my liberal group. My comment was just, ew, because of course. Yeah. But then at least one person was like, oh, my God, they look like they're about to sell me some essential oils. Yep. Or they have a very good yeah, work from home me. opportunity for me. Well, they're definitely have... all MLM moms. This lady that I, she's Mormon. She shared this thing who has all of her um, credentials first, like molecular biology for toxicology support services, mm -hmm. like all of this stuff first. Mm -hmm. And she has all of these things. So, you know, she's legit mm -hmm. on, according to her Facebook post that she made herself that doesn't have like any verification. Fat checkers or anything. Yeah. And it's basically saying it's the vaccinated, not the unvaccinated sh sh uh, spreading the mutant variants. This is from inoculating during the pandemic with poor neutralization vaccine. That's what's happening at the numerous other leaky non-neutralizing vaccine. Like it's this whole thing. And then she goes into like, it's the same thing as this disease in chickens. Oh my God. And the solution would be to stop vaccinating with these terrible, terrible things and start treating everyone of high risk and those not high risk who are symptomatic with cheap, safe and effective hydrochloroxyquine. And Ivermectin. Mercen, Mercen. Ivermectin? Why can't I? I've never been I don't able know. to say that. I think it's Ivermectin. Ivermectin I it's and hydrochloroxychloroquine. Hydro sure I need to listen to Trump because he says it correctly. I don't even God, I miss but him that's what so she's much. You know, don't like, you? I miss I miss his Twitter. Like, I, I miss honestly, that. I miss that voice coming through my TV just every the, day. Just gives me a little of, jolt. The soothing voice of mm -hmm. wisdom. Yeah that that's that's what i miss but yeah she's she's swearing that this will stop the binding replication and transmission of the virus as well as ameliorate some pathogenic transmission or ameliorate pathogenic process due to the spike of the vaxxed and it'll cost virtually nothing and therein lies the problem so this yeah. this mormon chick shared that mm -hmm. and she was like this is the problem 
you know, if everybody just eats healthy and is oh, uses alternative sake. medication and takes their, you know, exercises and takes their vitamins and everything will be fine. Mm -hmm. And then this doctor, another Mormon, gets in there and he was like, he ripped her to shreds. I love his, this is why I'm doing this whole thing, because mm -hmm. his comment, he was like, I have too many people I care about to not say something. Please stop sharing this garbage. One. Variants, Alpha, Beta, Gamma, and now Delta were all spreading before vaccines. Lambda came out after vaccines, but there is no evidence, zero, that it came from a vaccina vaccinated cohort. Two, vaccinated patients are less likely to get COVID, including Delta, and less likely to spread Delta. Three, for the 18th billionth time, doctors are not afraid of real data. We are afraid of garbage data. Anyone promoting hydrochloroxyquine and ivermectin for the treatment and prevention of COVID, including any variant, are ignoring legitimate data. Ivermectin has been shown to be an antiviral in vitro, true. But what these jokes of scientists, in quotes, mm -hmm. don't say is that the doses used in vitro would also kill normal cells in vivo, which means in humans. You put in parentheses. <laughs> stop. Just stop. Anyone who has to announce their credentials before they make a statement is nine-tenths or nine out of 10 times simply trying to justify something is true. If it's true, credentials won't matter. Very I liked, true. Love I, I like hearted it and then Mike she deleted dropped. the whole post, but I had already oh. screenshotted everything. <laughs> and okay, but this guy is Mormon. Mm -hmm. Can we just talk about the, the cognitive dissonance with that last sentence? Yeah. But it's okay. Like I was very happy to see that. But at least on this issue. On this issue, credentials don't matter and you don't need okay. evidence. Yeah. to back up which okay sure but yeah i i was very happy to see that because this chick is a mom she's an anti-vaxxer for all vaccinations mm -hmm. her husband's a chiropractor uh, she has five unvaccinated children in the same uh, school district as my God. children so i really liked seeing her shut down real fast i it's it's amazing yeah. to me what short fucking memories we have like as society just <laughs> when you think about yeah vaccines in general like okay we don't get our kids don't get polio anymore why is that that Which was magically great. happened you know why don't huh yeah my my parents have the the polio scar like mm -hmm. the the, or the smallpox one yeah yeah that's what it, they have the, the circle smallpox scar i don't like i had to have chicken pox but you know what my kids have never had chicken pox it's a miracle yeah, How i does have that scars happen? from chicken pox i have one on my face oh god i don't think i have any scars pox. but i i vividly remember going yeah. through it and how awful it was and these people who are like yeah but you know covid it doesn't kill it's not killing kids number one yes it is but number two is. is is your child dying the bar for how you care like i also yes. don't want my child to suffer or have long-term consequences my or even be uncomfortable if i can avoid it my kids all got covid from their dad and i'm still <sighs> very very upset about that but um except for my youngest who's 11 she was exposed to it and she didn't ever show any symptoms and she's fine mm -hmm. but my my middle son especially still has long covid he yeah. still has breathing issues he <laughs> still has like some fuzziness and this was back in december yeah and so this is it's real it's, it's, it's a real so, thing so frustrating i've so far we've all managed not to get it and we have to family. in this household mm -hmm. yeah but over the, he had them for christmas break mm -hmm. and then somehow during christmas break they got exposed to covid he swears his dentist gave it to him i don't believe him hmm. but okay you know yeah we've <laughs> it sounds legit right yeah we have <laughs> avoided it but now that there's no more mask mandate i'm feeling very very nervous at work because i oh, wear yeah. a mask but, but no one else does nobody else does. and i like i put this table right you you will run in people have run into it as they come in the door because i put it that close hmm. and it's got a pile of free masks on it and it says masks appreciate greatly appreciated but not required yeah because people are fucking dicks and my mom will not let us require them because oh, we might lose business. But well, I cannot fucking believe how few people will put that mask on. Even though I asked, it's like, a nice little sign. Please, it's cute. Like I just the mask really, on. that'd be nice. No, and all the people that come in with kids, nobody makes their kid wear a mask. All these kids coming in, and then I just all I do is I picture their breath having color and coming towards me <laughs> like i can see it in the air just all the fucking covid germs all over and i think seeing you'll probably so, be okay because you are 
Well, because I got triple vaccinated. Triple gayed. And I'm paying yeah. at paying and I'm wearing a mask the whole time. But I'm just, yeah. since my son is still not vaccinated, I'm just like, oh, See, that's the last thing. Vaccinated. I don't want to bring it home to him because Delta, I have a friend who's a local doctor and she's like, all you have to do now is walk by somebody yeah. to get the Delta variant. I mean, it used to be you had to be within the six feet and talking for more than 15 minutes. Yeah. And that's usually how you got it. She's like, not anymore. Now it's just fucking rampant and yeah. you can walk by the wrong person and get it and still have it and bring it home and pass it to somebody else and and my my so. county is so dense mm -hmm. that well we actually we've had a couple of politicians like stroll through my county and they mm -hmm. end up getting sick and i'm just like just send them all <laughs> yeah just send them all come all down here a few of them are bound to die so that's yeah. cool i, I mean, mean that would be great i could really herman cain a few of them, of them had yeah, that was really sad. I'm Can I send Paul Gazelka down there? Sure. Um, he, I'm sure he would love Greg. Adler. I don't know how he doesn't live in Texas yet, because like he, there are a lot of conservative people here, but not the way Texas has them, and he would really. So he would really is, fit in. So Texas does have a lot of conservative people, but it actually doesn't. Mm -hmm. It's just the district lines are drawn in such a way. Yeah. So that actually doesn't represent most people mm -hmm. you know there are do you those think conservative it's just people Christian in the assholes. cities though or people in because that well, seems I like live... it's always the divide it's a rural city i mean i live in a pretty rural area and mm -hmm. there's a lot of like christian conservative people mm -hmm. but it's less than it used to be and it seems like the younger the generations are mm -hmm. they're less conservative they're less religious they're more you know liberal minded yeah. That's so true. you know where i live is pretty purple um, and I'm in a small, like a sort of small town. Mm -hmm. So it's getting kind of purple where yeah. my kid's dad lives though. It's pretty red and mm -hmm. he's only like 10 minutes away from me. So it just, yeah. it's probably demographic also because I live in apartments and he lives in yeah. this area. So yeah, yeah I like in my town, him. it's very, very red. And sometimes I forget how red it is because yeah. I surround myself with well, all the me local too. liberals. So I'm insulated with my, yeah. with my liberal friends, but there's yep. so many of them mm -hmm. in the area. And then most people I work with are pretty liberal. Yeah. Um, so. I mean, I, we have our little online Facebook group that I'm not supposed to talk about because it's like Fight Club, but it's getting, it's got about 300 people in it now, which doesn't seem like a lot. No, but for your town, it But for our is. town, that's like 300 people in the same room at the same time, all sharing political beliefs, which See, is See, I'm in, astounding. I'm in this, uh, this liberal women's group mm -hmm. that started out really, really small back in the bathroom debate is when oh, it started yeah. about that's when it started mm -hmm. and um and then you know trump just really solidified the group and now it has 4.2 thousand wow it's See, it's four you know 4.2 k is mm -hmm. so 4200 women and it's all women did you hear that so stomping sound i did <laughs> i assumed it was children <laughs> it's actually my husband um calling my child for dinner because that's what we do in this house so like i am downstairs like thumper my oldest child is also downstairs so we that's just slam our feet down on the floor and that's makes how sense. he knows to come up for dinner i mean it's very old i'll just school. do that for my downstairs you know. neighbor i'll just stomp that makes sense don't have to take the time to text or anything yeah. it works um yeah, I my send kids... mass text to my kids and they're in literally the next room. Oh, I do that too. I always like, text them. Dinner. Yeah, I'll text everything to my kids just because I'm lazy and don't want to get up. But um, co what was I just going to say? Uh, about you were saying something about COVID, COVID being not real. Being not and real. Yeah, Ted I heard Cruz that it's... Is sexy. I heard... Oh my God. So this school board meeting with the guy with yes. the paper bag. With there the paper was paper another... Bag on his face. There was another total winner that I just have to tell you about. Um, yes, please do. So this guy comes in and he's got some sort of O2 meter that you breathe into. So it's mm -hmm. not like an oximeter that you connect to your finger like you would have in a hospital. Something, I don't know what the original intent of this thing is, but whatever. So he comes in, sits down, and he's like, so this thing is, he basically describes this advanced piece of medical technology he has in his <laughs> hand. And he's like, and here, and if you're if your oxygen gets below 18.5, then you can die. 
But if, uh. it's at the, if it's at 20 or above, then it's healthy. So I'm just going to do a little experiment here. And I'm going to breathe. So first I'm going to breathe into it without a mask. So he lifts the mask up a little, puts the O2 meter under the mask, and breathes into it. And then shows everybody the digital number that comes up. It's like 20 something, 20.5, I don't know. He's like, now I'm going to do it with the mask on. So he breathes into it through the mask. And he's like, he's see? doing it through the mask. 18.5. 18.5. My oxygen is 18.5 now. So, yeah. Like, so he's a I, We're all going to die. We're all going to fucking die. I really hate this. it when doctors are performing surgeries and they just die right there. Right? It's I, the worst. I, I don't know it's how to tag them out. How do they not die just for wearing masks? For like an 18 hour surgery yeah. or something. I don't You'd think they're... that at least I'll be brain damaged from the lack of oxygen they're getting. That's, um, they probably are. Because you know, they're... everyone's always saying, you're like, oh, you're so stupid. Are you a doctor? Yeah, that's because a very good Because of all of the thing. oxygen deprivation. Yeah. Well, surgeons are notoriously stupid, so... Surgeons are notoriously assholes, but they're not stupid. <laughs> that is true. They are that's assholes. Very... But it's good that they're assholes, because you need yes. somebody to be you an need asshole someone to be who's like, good with the scalpel. not very empathetic. They just yeah. want to cut into you and fix that's, it, and then that make you just go away fine and never me. come back. If they are doing their job right. to right. the best of their ability, you can be a dick all you want. Yep. I just, I don't care. I told one of my doctors once, he was doing... I think it was an ovarian cyst or something. I told him to sign his name on my uterus. And he was like, I can't do that. <laughs> like, ethically, um, I can't. And I was like, just get your little laser in there. Just sign your say, name. With just a little, like, a little wood cauterizing just gun like, type sh thing. Yeah. I'm like, you earned fun. it. You delivered two of my kids and you helped me with this. And he was like, oh, my God. Can you draw a little heart on it? Just that could be fun. <laughs> Put a little piece of metal in there for the next time you get an x-ray or something. Just for the x-ray check. <laughs> to Leave be like, ooh, uh, look at that. A steri strip or something, or yeah, one of those that'd be fun. gauze. I mean, that's I why asked, the gauze has some metal in it, so they can see it if it gets left inside of you. I asked my surgeon to remove my belly button, and he totally did it. So, see, some surgeons are amazing. Some surgeons will do that. Some surgeons do it. You ask them to because you have medical freedom because you're an American. How in the fuck are these people? Either. How are these people using the term medical freedom with a straight face while still passing abortion laws? I can't. I, I don't like they are literally holding up signs saying my body, my choice. Yeah. I'm like, oh, because they think it's clever. They think it's clever to use okay. our words against us. OK, yet... so it, it works then, but it doesn't yeah. work if I mm -hmm. don't want to die because I'm pregnant. Yeah. Well, and not only that, but apparently there was a protest this morning in one of the school districts. And I'm like, sure. so I thought running over protesters was cool now. Is that only if our side is protesting? Yeah, it's or only like... if it's Black Lives Matter. Okay, it's, so when those um, because then they're protest... they're they're um, disruptive and probably violent. Okay. okay, so but if the other people are and protesting, they're probably breaking their the law freedom. and stopping people mm -hmm. from going to their jobs because it's a bunch of liberal losers that yeah, don't even hold that's jobs. That's true. They don't work. Liberals they're don't work. They're just so, getting all of the yeah. unemployment checks that don't mm -hmm. they don't even exist anymore in Texas at least. They stopped yeah. all of those. Oh yeah, they stopped it here too. So it's... yeah, that's um. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's these... when it only counts. Because these are hardworking, bootstrap Americans. They just want their medical freedom and to sell you yeah. some essential oil. I mean, really, that's all and it comes to, like, down to. Take things that'll make their intestines slough off. Oh like, have you God. read the side effects? Could I? I would love to take something that will make my intestines slough off because they could use <laughs> it. Like, they could They're use. They were calling it the the virus worms. It's like those aren't virus worms. <laughs> Your intestines are. Oh my god! You I... don't need to lose layers of your intestines like you do your uterus. Like How it's. Did we get to this point? Yeah, but we also live so, in a country that believes that like getting colonics and shit is. I believe necessary. that it happened. Betsy Betsy DeVos mm -hmm. um, was the over education, mm -hmm. and now we're here. I don't think it's her fault, but she couldn't have helped. I mean, I feel like it started a long time ago. It started a long time ago. The really public education is not great, especially into... in the South, no. because they don't have the funds. Mm -mm. And they also are um, allocated to richer areas, get better resources instead of being straight across the board. Because they do it by property tax values. So yep. if you have high property tax area, you get good school. Yeah, my kid's school. school district, like I've talked about this before, it's, mm -hmm. it's insane. Like they have... Um, NFL regulation size practice fields for their football team. Like it's literally Friday night lights out here. Jesus they have Christ. like the, the stadium has like one of those giant, like things that you go to a basketball game, like the mm -hmm. announcer 
Tron. I don't know yeah. what they are. The Jumbotron? In the middle of Jumbotron in the middle of their stadium for Jesus football games. Christ. Like That's it's insane. Just... And but then try every to get some drama room... kids a theater to like make yeah. a good musical production. I bet they can't do that. I mean, not in Texas. I mean, they probably mm -hmm. could. But every single classroom had those like Prometheum boards when my son was in kindergarten. He just graduated. Mm -hmm. So they had those giant like touch screen boards that had the the pens from the time he was five. Wow. wow. Every single classroom, every kid was given a Chromebook, every kid was given an iPad and it's like yeah. insane. It's insane. Yeah, my kid did get and my kids just Google dicks on it, you know, because that's what <laughs> they have all of these things. What do like, they it, expect them to do with it? He was like They're dancing children. dicks. The principal called. He was like, hey, yeah, your I, son's Googling dicks. I'm like, dude, not at school. Frankly, oh, I'm probably just if people keep asking me, what are you doing for school this year? I'm like, I'm probably never sending my kids back to school. So I wouldn't just the way it is. If I I'm, could I'm over it, if I could legally pull my kids out with mm -hmm. only my permission. Yeah. My kids would already be homeschooled. Yeah. Um, I they would at this point, or they'd be in like a K twelve academy kind of situation. Yeah, where it's just virtual. Yeah, but it's not. I don't have to make the curriculum. So much of the thing that, well, I've spoken at length about what bothers me about the school system. But one <laughs> thing I think a lot of people don't realize is that so much of the curriculum is sold to schools by yeah. these giant corporations. That's it just like is. your school. Not to sound like a total hippie here. But, like, corporations are choosing the curriculum that your kids are learning. And it's making them sit all day and be anxious and yeah. do busy work that is dumb and isn't going to get them anywhere. Always, busy work was my favorite, though, when they did, like, word searches. Well, that shit's fun, though. Like, I that kind of busy work searches. is fun. When they did I, word searches and there was one time we made a stained glass window out of, like, we shaved, made crayon mm -hmm. shavings and then we ironed yeah. it. That was fun. I I'm talking about work. like the rote, constant math problem worksheets like that are just like uh, stuff that's interesting that gets kids engaged. Like, and now that I like my, word searches, now that uh, my younger one has been out of school for like a year and a half, we were in the car the other day and he's like, Mom, ask me to spell things and see if I can do it. I'm like, <laughs> okay. So I just started naming random words. He spelled every single one of them correctly. I was very impressed. I think he just kind of on his own was like, I think I want to be good at spelling. I think that's, that's the thing I want to do, which I is totally cool. Spelling. Like I am excellent at spelling. So that is so my you, jam. But you know yeah. how I'm from, I live in Texas. Mm -hmm. um, obviously I have problems with pronunciation sometimes as everybody that listens to the show knows because I get it <laughs> wrong all the time. So I've been learning Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> it translates over. <laughs> like uh -oh. I am just like, it, I'll say the thing back to it. I'll hear the mm -hmm. phrase. I'll say it back. And it's like, I don't understand what you're saying. I think you're saying it wrong. I'm like, listen, Duolingo. Yeah. I am saying it don't perfectly. Don't talk back to me. Fine. I'm trying it's to great. develop a new skill here. Um, yeah, I have. Yeah, I'm like, if I can't speak English without an accent, what are the odds I'm going to be able to speak Spanish without an accent? <laughs> so you just need to deal with it. Yeah. And just give me credit because yeah. I can write it and I can read it, mm -hmm. but I can't say it. Yeah. I... I have really come to the conclusion that kids and adults really only learn things when they're motivated by something to do so, whether that's well, money or your internal drive to be better I or to like, make a goal. I'm, or... I'm trying to get certain number of days in a row and mm -hmm. I get prizes mm -hmm. and it's fun. See, that's nice. That's And it gives me a lot of motivation. It's like, dun, dun and stars and there's crowns that's and how like khan academy is super fun i, I mean, was doing khan some khan academy, academy with my son and he actually was enjoying it because it, they made it like a video game yeah. like it's just it's boom, you get fun. these little things pop up i don't think there's anything wrong with that like why why yeah. are we pushing so hard against the future and the way that things just like are make it be? fun for people and yeah it's like what's wrong with i don't know fucking school man anyway um this Thursday, the Dear Evan Hansen movie is coming out. Oh, yeah. It's the dude from Pitch Perfect. So I, once again, have reserved an entire theater just for nice. my vaccinated friends. And we're wearing masks this time because I'm paranoid. So at least while well, we're not eating, we're going to wear masks. But I'm going to be eating. I would be eating the whole time. Well, my I mean, face would yeah, be in I'll the be, bucket. Usually the popcorn's done by the time the previews are done. And You're going like, to go to the hospital on Friday. I probably am. But... Ugh. 
God, okay, I really don't think we're go. good thing we're recording now on Monday. <laughs> I'll only be there. They'll kick me out anyway because there's no beds. So that's very true. That's true. I'll just have to go home and wing it. Hopefully, they'll just send me a whole bunch of pain oh meds gosh. and send me home. That'd be fine. Anyway, I mean, just, if you get too many, just send them to me. Yes. Yeah. So just federal crime. It's fine. It's we'll see. Deal. I told my husband that I'm like, so on Thursday, I'm gonna go see the Dear Evan Hansen movie with a bunch of my friends, and he's like, what's that? I'm like, what? You're like, have you met me? You've never heard me mention the the broadway musical dear evan hansen no i haven't like, heard you mention it thank you everybody has heard me mention it and ben i said ben platt is in it who's that you need to put it on youtube in meme form and How then he'll know what you're talking about and make it in a video with all kinds of other with memes. memes i just i asked my son right away i'm like you know who ben platt is and he's like oh fucking dear evan hansen because he's so sick of hearing about it like my he's, children are he's sick of hearing a high about school student Hansen. like they were high school students in Greece. He's yes. that level of high school student. He's but Kaniki, I'm not basically. I'm not mad at him because no, he's, he's amazing. The only one that could do the role. Right. He's gonna look ridiculous. I'm preparing but he's, myself he's, for that. Is that his name was Kaniki? He's basically Kaniki at this yeah. point. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, he's way John Travolta too old to was play a little it. younger. Kaniki was the old one. You'd think with technology now, though, they could just do all that in post production and just computerize him to be younger somehow. And he's like, adorable. He is very cute. Did you know he's dating uh, one of the other guys who played Dear Evan Hansen on Broadway? He's gay. He must have gotten the vaccine. Very gay. I think he. Did. I think he got two or three. He of got them. like four. Yeah, like seventeen Had shots. To have. Otherwise, I don't know how that gay. happens. That's just so, bad parenting at that point. Yeah, he's got a whole uh, two albums out now that are all just gay love songs. So wow. I've been sneaking them into my playlist at work so that my dad doesn't find out. Because hmm. as long as he's not listening, he doesn't know it's in the playlist. <laughs> um, I used to do that. I used to play music in the car with my mom, and it was like. Uh, the absence of God mm -hmm. and science versus romance and stuff like that. Nice. And it's like I've been putting a lot of uh, postmodern jukebox into my at work love. playlist. Okay, postmodern so jukebox fun. is delightful. It is, and then like, like my them. parents don't realize they're actually modern songs. <laughs> they just yeah. they sound like they're from like the forties, but it's bad romance done forty style uh -huh. or. They have I would a love version to of, sing Lizzo. One of those. Like that would be super Wouldn't that fun. That'd be so much fun. They even have dance videos where they're doing tap dances I've and shit. It. It's so good. I love it. I went through this whole phase where I was watching them on YouTube all the time. They're they're so good. I like the there's a version of Good as Hell by Lizzo that's mm -hmm. fantastic. Um there's a version of Happy. I would do that in like that's karaoke. Fantastic. Like yeah. that version. I might. That'd be Let's fun. see. I don't know. Except I don't so I go to this bar just about every Friday. Mm -hmm. um, and they have karaoke on Fridays, but I don't want to touch a microphone yeah. inside. I, I'm on the patio. I wouldn't want my mouth anywhere near I don't want anything to put my on mouth the inside. Near something. No. Other so than Trump's I don't ever junk. sign up, obviously. Yeah. It's real sad. He's Missing getting so old much. and it just doesn't react the same it used to. So it's got to be super a... wrinkly by now, too. By I... now. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm gonna. I have to go vomit now. I'm sorry. I did that to myself. Um, <laughs> you did this to you. Yeah. That was that was bad. So uh, yeah, we have. Oh. We, we're gonna do this for patrons. Yeah, live stream. So I have fun. one more thing. Okay. Briefly, and to, then I have my mention. other magic show, where I can play the outro also. It's this is gonna blow my fucking mind. And I, I can put it up so we don't have to be on there. It can just be the picture of the outro. Yeah. And in case anybody is listening, we have a couple of different friends who edit podcasts, and we're not we snubbing you. We love all of you. We love all we of you. We just don't have time. We're too fucking lazy to even send the audio and then post <laughs> the audio, and just we can't. We just can't. We we're just, just want to be done on the same day that we record. <laughs> we're, just... we're like, and done. I'm like, just don't. Even, I don't even want to upload <sighs> audio anymore. I'm si I'm over it. No, I can't fucking like, do it anymore. I'm and so then she's tired. like, "What about show notes?" I'm like, "It's fine. I'm not gonna yeah. go as into it about show you know, notes. I'm just gonna be like, blurb, just blurb. We talked about COVID. and just copy okay. and paste the hashtags from last yeah. week, and I'm cool, it's and it's whatever. Do. It's totally fine. Um, anyway, it's so funny because gentleman caller is the one that's helping me with all of the stuff, and he was like, "Should yeah. I uh, name myself as like you know your director?" <laughs> I'm like, "No." <laughs> Like, don't put your name anywhere near Directed it. Directed <laughs> by Gentleman Caller. Um, I was joking. I'm like, no. Oh, so big news. I finally, 
finally got Freethinkers 215's actual bowl in the actual yes. mail. I didn't just say I mailed it. It's yes. actually gone out in the mail now. Very exciting. For a while I was like, yeah, it's so, I'm just, and I just, I did it. It's on its way. Um, one thing we should do since we're kind of doing this live now is yeah. to shout out the patrons. Um, sure. Because that way we don't have to do it afterwards. But I'm while I'm trying a picture to, of me recording. While I this. am trying to find the patrons. So the other brief story I was going to tell you is that my son this week, my younger one, started equine therapy. Interesting. Which equine means horse, in case you didn't. You know? They're very good at their antiviral medication. <laughs> they take ivermectin from time to time. Well, there are human versions. Um, I know that. I'm so, aware of that. So anyway, we found a therapist. That I'm just like, equine, cool, horses, fun. Let's try that. I don't know. I'll, I'll do yeah. anything at this point to get my kids healthy. Um, and it turns out that it's not just like therapy with horses. It's basically regular cognitive Is it therapy by horses. That would be even better. Oh my god! It's <laughs> just like the horses on the couch, or you on the couch. Like who's? That would be so fucking awesome. Um, I would love. I want that. No, this is actually like regular CBT, like cognitive behavioral yeah. therapy, but at a ranch. There's this little ranch, and not only do they have horses, they have a tiny little bunny kennel, and you can go in there and just like with a lawn chair and just pet bunnies while you're just doing hang. your therapy. Do they have like the super floppy eared ones with the oh, long yeah. hair? They have one oh, named Fluff Bucket. Ones. Its name oh. is. Fluff bucket. Literally fluff um, bucket. <laughs> and it actually sheds fluff while it's bouncing around. Like That's it's, me. It's the I literally shed fluff thing. and I bounce around. Like It's adorable. You could go live at this balls. ranch and do... It's not cute when it's me. You could do I'm, really I'm over. I'm over 29, so... Yeah. Or 27? I it's not as cute am. anymore. No. So yeah, no, we went for our first appointment and he, my son was just... At first, of course, I want to go. Like, just get could, in the car. Like bunnies. Going. He got there and he was like, oh my god, there's horses right there. And it's like this kind of small ranch, but it's super cute. And you just, he's like, oh my god, there's the, what? There's cats wandering around? What? Oh my god. It was... Uh, and blue is fucking mind. Oh yeah. just, the therapist, she's like, oh, do you want to see the want to see the bunnies? He's like, yes. So we go over to the bunny what pen. What kind of question is one, that? <laughs> right? She introduces the bunny. She's like, here's how you get the pen open. If you want to let them out, you can. If not, you don't have to. If you want to pick them up, you can. If not, That's cool. Awesome. And then we just sat there and she did the intake while he was petting bunnies. And then That's halfway good. through. Okay, so they need that Why don't they do hospitals? that everywhere? Like, they need that at the gynecologist. Yes, you just, like, put, put a bunny on my bunny. chest or something. And just, just like, pet okay. it while they're doing your pap smear. I'll feel, very, I'll feel better about this cone I'll biopsy that you're going to perform that, that sounds terrible. Yeah. Well, okay. and halfway through it, she was she got to the point where she's like, so tell me some things that you like about yourself. You know, she wanted to get kind of a, a handle on his self-esteem issues. And yeah. He was like, I don't know didn't really list anything and so I listed some things I appreciated about him and then she said well one thing I already appreciate about you is your assertiveness because right before this he had said I'm sick of the bunnies I want to go see the horses Perfect. and she's like most kids wouldn't tell me they wanted to get up and go That's see the true. horses and we would, they just, would just here the whole time listen to whatever the adult and said last to do it and she's like but you are so here let's go see the horses close That's up great. the bunny pen go into the horse thing he was trying to remember all of their names, even though they all look exactly the same to me. Um, but there were just four of them walking around. They walk up That's right so to great. you and you could pet them. And he wanted to stay all day and just Good. explore. He just wanted to go walk around. And like, all is I, it and covered by insurance? I, as far as I know, so far it is That's covered amazing. by my insurance. They haven't denied it. But of course, I told my local friends about it, and every single one of them is, I need the phone number. My yeah, kids need seriously. to. Seriously. And I, I thought, wish why don't here. more people do this? Because it's not even really specialized. It's regular therapy. Well, we have, it's just we have an equine therapy animals. place, but it's, it's for kids that are on the spectrum mm -hmm. that just ride the horses. They just, yeah, they teach them how to care and for the they, horses. And, and they teach them, them how to care for the horses. Mm -hmm. And so it teaches skills. Right. And then they kind of, there's no like actual therapist That's there. That's what I it's thought just this was going to be. Volunteers there that yeah. just. Yeah. That's kind of what I thought this was, but I like what it is more than what this I thought fantastic. it was. This is fantastic. I mean, this I'm is what I'm going to become a needed. therapist just to get some right. bunnies. Like, that's... Just get... Because my kids used to be in, oh, in like, so juvenile great. therapy, and they mm -hmm. had, like, yeah. the magic sand, and that was, like, 
cool. I mean, the magic sand not is great, but it's not tank. a fluff bucket. The moon sand, it it's is. Not a, yeah, it's not a fluff bucket. Well, and then we had this real come to Jesus moment where he saw one of the kittens outside <gasps> of the horse pen, but he's by the horse. But what do you do? Do you stay by the horse or do you go for the kitten? Like they're oh just Oh my gosh, it's like Sophie's He's choice. like I don't it really was, but he decided that next time he could see the kitten cuz he was already with the horses and he didn't want and to they, make the he, horses he feel didn't bad. Want horses to feel bad. Right? Yeah, he didn't want to just like I understand. Run horses they, have very sensitive feelings. They already have issues. She was telling us all about their issues cuz they're rescue <laughs> horses, so Anyway, Aww. so yeah, he, we were supposed to go back today and then it rained, which is a bummer, but he's so excited about it. And I so just you're going think, back on. So, like, no, every. So, next Monday, we're going to go next again. Monday. Okay. But every therapist in the world needs to start doing this. I agree. Just have all of your therapy. I'm just going to send this episode animals. to every therapist and just Thank be you. like, hey, um, just nobody wants to, the to end. sit in your boring ass office and talk. Everybody wants I mean, to go out. I do now because, mm. well, some of them offer you like snacks and there's. They can offer the snacks there was one side. I was sitting there talking about when I was going through my, you know, mild breakup way back mm -hmm. when. And I was sitting on the couch at my therapist practice or therapist office and I was like just talking about stuff and she was like, Do you need the Kleenex? I'm like, No, I'm cool. I just kept talking and she was like, Are you sure you don't need the Kleenex? I'm like, Yeah, I'm good. And she was like, Oh, okay, but if you need to cry, I'm like, Yeah, I know. There's Kleenex right there. And there. And there. I'm good. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna like my had eye makeup on. I wasn't gonna like. I just don't cry. I'm always I worried that cry. I'm supposed. I don't. And cry then when, when I, I do, it's cry. like I can't stop. It's like just dry heaving horribly. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like I get to the point, and I cry about things that aren't what you're supposed to be crying about. Mm -hmm. You know, like I'm. I was supposed to cry during my divorce. I was supposed mm -hmm. to cry during you know, you know, when yeah. someone I care about dies or something like that. Mm -hmm. Not. Um, I can't find the meat in the fridge. <laughs> hey, that's that I legit. know is there. <laughs> that and is like, legit. Or the dishes I forgot to run them in the dishwasher. Or the oh, the one time that just like killed me is I went to school and I turned the crock pot on warm instead of high. Oh no! So when I came home, the chicken was bad because it was like eight <laughs> hours. That yeah, bawled my eyes out like a baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mine is usually I can't find my phone, and I've been yeah. looking for my phone for twenty minutes, and I've looked everywhere, and I'm so fucking tired. Are you so talking to someone tired. on your phone about how you can't find your phone? I'm usually holding that. it in my hand. Yep. Um, while I'm that. looking, I've done that. I've done a lot of looking for my glasses while I'm wearing them. Yep. Not even on my head, just wearing my glasses, looking for my glasses. This is what getting old is, kids. It's not fun. <laughs> so anyway, I oh go. Yeah, ahead. we need to read the patrons. I was gonna say I got the patrons pulled up, okay, so let's let's do this. Um, read them if fast. you want to become a patron, you can join us at patreoncom slash secular soup, yes. and you can give us all your money or just a little bit of your money. Either way is. Fine. I prefer all of it. I would just love all your money. Personal whatever. preference. You don't have to do what yeah. I want, but I'm just saying personal preference. Unless you want to so, do what I want. Yeah, and like like we said. Um, the way we're going to start doing the show now is we will do live streams to the patrons only, and then mm -hmm. we'll release that audio uh, a couple days later for yeah. the non-patrons. Right so, so we'll figure it out. We're still, this is still. We're kicking, we're still kicking the ideas around. We're out. trying to figure it out. But yeah, at any rate, you'll get, you'll get benefits if you're Cause we're a not, patron. We're not gone. We're just, no. uh, Amy, we will take a breather. And do sexual favors for you if you become oh, I'm a patron. Tired. I'm so tired. All, all of the people. So, um, so everybody at 666 a month or higher gets a shout out on every episode. So, so this is them. this time we have mm -hmm. Yesh, Sarah, Paul, Nuggin, Natalie, Lois, Life in the Left Lane podcast. I think they forgot that they're patrons. I swear Good. to God. I think they just forgot about us, which I'm they're, totally They're back cool on. With. They're back on. Are they? Me. Oh, I need to start listening again. Don Ford, voice of fantasy and adventure, increased his patronage. I don't know if I mentioned that last time because it's been oh, so awesome. fucking long. So thank you, Don. We do appreciate that. Uh, and April and Andy are our last two 666 patrons. Then we have our $10 a month patrons who get a soup bowl. We're probably going to discontinue the soup bowl. Just saying, I don't have the time or energy to make any more soup bowls. But Erin, who was our last person to pledge at $10 a month, is going to get hers because she is my friend and lives in my town. She and came she's in the under fucking that, bomb. Under that wire. She got in right under the wire. So I'm still going to make hers. It's still probably going to take me a year and a half, but... You'll get it eventually. Uh, so we have Aaron, Renee, our 
see. 13th favorite rich? I don't know. Found your phone. 13. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, God, now, see, now you text me and now I can't think. Uh, 13th favorite rich. I'm going with 13. That's, that's oh, what that's I'm sticking by. That's a good number. By. I like it. Uh, Verilane and Wendy. Thank you. I think everybody on that list has their bowl. Please Probably, God, I, tell I'm me they sure. do. Um, Let us and, know if you don't. And then... Oh, I forgot our other very important patron at $10 a month. A noble spirit embiggens the smallest man. A perfectly cromulent statement. Otherwise known as Freethinker215. You should have your bowl by the time you hear this. And if you don't, okay. I'll be really pissed at the U.S. Postal Service. And finally, we only have one $20 a month patron left because we flaked out for so long. But That's Randall, okay. be you are more than okay now. You be are back. the best, Randall. Um, you're now our favorite patron, so that's it. Deal with it. You're you're better than okay. You're the best. So thank you so much to all of our patrons. Please become one if you want to, or if you want to just throw a little bit of cash at us, you can send it to us on PayPal at delightfulbitchcraft at gmail dot com. So um, oh, other slight announcement: I have quit doing crafts to sell online. So I have officially turned off the delightful bitchcraft Etsy shop. I yeah. just, I just don't It'll have it It'll be turned back on when we get more time. Yeah. Well, it, it, it's at some point so, down the road, yeah. we can figure that shit out. But for now, just sorry, right now. there's just nothing you can buy from us right now. It's, it's done. So, yeah. all right. Okay. So do you want to play us? Are you going to do this do. technological feat with our outro? I'm so excited. Watch this. All right. Thanks to all of you motherfuckers who put up with the Amy's droning on week after week. If you enjoy their delightful bitchcraft, please follow them on all of the social medias and send them all of your money on Patreon or PayPal. You can find them on these platforms by using the Google machine. It's not hard. If you want to bitch with other fans about the show, join the Secret Soup Talk Facebook group. If you want to tell Amy and Amy to fuck off personally, you can send an email to secularsouppodcast at gmail.com, although it may go unanswered. Please rate and review the show on iTunes, Facebook, and wherever else you can review things like this. It will help spread the soup gospel far and wide. And hey, text someone right now. Tell your friends. As always, we'll leave you with the vocal stylings of Mr. Eli Bosnick. Secular soup greed. Soup is the ultimate virtue. It's delicious, nutritious, patriarchy smashing, racism fighting, warm and fuzzy, human affirming, fun having, anti theist, glitter throwing, tummy satisfying, pair of new shoes fulfilling, diversity seeking, happiness. Minestrone, beef and barley, chicken broth and split pea, gazpacho, tomato, clam chowder and potato, chicken noodle, beef noodle, egg drop and ramen cup, miso, gumbo, leek and foe. Grab a bowl and taste the magic. Slurp even this.